It's just been a long day for sure. Welcome everybody to Elite Landscapes Life Stories. This is going to be an amazing two video series on this college transformation of tall grass. 127 acres? Yeah. Poor Dalton, the edge master. Look at all this stuff he's got on the sidewall so he's edged it. That's just edging. Edging this stuff off. Look. Look at this chaos, man. Dude. <laughs> Where am I at? It's not one of my places, is it? <laughs> Yeah, I'll show you what we're dealing with here real quick. When you're a warrior and you have a proven track record of success at a high level, it's amazing what opportunities just come to you. The universe always sends you these opportunities if you put your 100% effort into being the top 1% that you can possibly be. Now obviously this is not a normal gig for me and my size company. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys that there's no reason to be scared or timid or to back down from almost any opportunity that life throws your way. A majority of us would have just looked at this opportunity and shook our heads and walked away, honestly. It's such a large scale property, 127 acres with miles and miles of sidewalks to edge, curb lines to flatten, and ha, just total chaos when we showed up. So ask yourself this question. If you woke up first thing in the morning on a Monday with a phone call request like I got, would you be ready to rock and roll that mission out on Tuesday and Wednesday? Would you be willing to push your entire schedule back into the next weekend knowing you were going into this kind of mission with this amount of manpower needed and the amount of effort it's going to take to get this place looking like this over the entire college campus? I was on site Monday at noon to walk over the entire property and see exactly what I was getting myself into here. By 5.30 that evening, I had sent in my proposal and it was approved over a text message. Our mission was to put out 120 man hours of work in two days using our two Skag mowers, our John Deere zero turn, two weed eaters, and getting some beds cleaned out as well. The entire property was to be double and triple cut to bring the place a golf course appearance. Every sidewalk that we could get to in that time was to be edged. All the flattening that had been ignored for months was to be accomplished as well. That grass right there was the entire campus. Just Sasquatch style. <laughs> So here is the reality of the situation that I came into on Tuesday morning. Number one, I'm a man down because Ian, his sister, tested positive for COVID. So I'm not having that man anywhere near us or a college campus to say the least. So we're a man down, which means we're a mower down. And it gets better because on our our drive up here to this beautiful campus, it was pouring down rain. And I had already seen on the radar that this place was gonna be soaking wet. And I was not wrong. The first seven buildings that we just tackled up top that we showed you the final footage of, it was just chaos, man. Soaking wet grass, 
a foot tall, thatch bunnies as big as the mowing tires everywhere you looked. Just looking at the scale, size of this property, you have to know this one fact. I am the only one on the crew right now that has any experience in doing large scale commercial properties like this. My boys, they've only done my residential accounts. Some of them are large, yes, but this is no comparison at all. My best man here, <laughs> he's amazing. He's never ever tackled any property like this before. You know, it's a whole different level if you've never ever set foot into this world. And you have to play by different rules when you're in this game right here. Because my whole family knew if it started to rain, that didn't mean we were stopping. We were not going home. We had a two day mission. We had devoted and promised our manpower time to this mission. The whole place had to be beautified by Thursday morning for the students to show up. Fortunately for me, I already have 15 years experience on these huge properties. So it didn't require me any planning, any strategic attack, any looking down at a Google map to see, well, I'm gonna do this building first and then I'll move here and there and there. Guys, this is like everything that I'm doing right now on this large property, everything about this mission, it just brought back everything that I've done in those 15 years for other companies. So basically, you look around, you can get overwhelmed. But the way to accomplish these large scale properties, mentally break it down, say, hey, I got this building, we're gonna knock it out. Then we'll go to this building and we're gonna knock it out. The only difference is between a mowing route and a property like this, you're not moving locations in the truck. You're not having to load up your equipment but it also means you don't get very many breaks. These guys and my soulmate have been rolling nonstop. There ain't no break time. It's busted until we're done time. Now I'm gonna give you the most valuable advice that I could possibly give. And this applies to the small solo man and the very small companies that have one, two, three helpers. Your success depends on how well you train your helpers. Do you take the time to stop the mower and correct every bad technique that you see happening? Because that's a must. It has to be done. I've trained over 500 men and women over the last 30 years, and that is the key to your success. No matter how large you want to get, or how small you want to stay, you want all your guys to be just as good as you are, no matter what the situation or the circumstances are. I mean, just look at this. My man here, he's helped me many times on my mowing route, but this, like I said before, total different ball game when it comes to mental and physical. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you can see it. <laughs> These are the words I get at the end of a 10 hour day yeah. mowing a college campus for the first time, right? <laughs> Bunch of angry, angry family members. <laughs> nah, we're not angry. It's just been a long day for sure. Uh, <laughs> I just got a little minimum amount of footage for you guys. So, you know, I didn't even do an opening for you, but it's just grass, grass, grass for 127 acres. Yeah. So I don't know. We got to come back here tomorrow for 10 more hours. So we'll get better footage tomorrow. Y'all be good. Peace.